So far we have seen a lot of things that you can do with Finite Automata. In this video we'll have a look at things that you cannot do with Finite Automata. We'll explore the limits of this automata model. And our running example will be a coffee dispenser. The coffee dispenser should be very simple. It just has two requirements. The first requirement is that the price for a coffee is 20 cents and to make it simple, it only accepts 10 cent coins. So let's have a look at this first possible model of this uh, coffee dispenser. It has only three states, can take in two coins and will then dispense a coffee. So should be, should be a reasonable model for our coffee machine. However, it's a bit weird that you simply cannot input more than uh, uh, two coins in a row without taking the coffee. Strange, because now we, in our model we have actually modeled that the coin input is blocked after we have input 20 cents. So let's consider an alternative. For example, if we add a loop at uh, the state Q2, now we can uh, input as many coins as we would like. That's good, but mostly for the vendor, because supernumerary coins are simply kept. There, there's no internal counter, there's no, uh, there's no change that's given, they're simply kept. The customer might not be that happy with this solution. So let's assume we refine it a bit. Now we, we memorize how many coins we actually put into the uh, coffee dispenser. So after two two coins, we know that we, we have input at least 20 cents. If we input more, then we memorize it and return the coins later on. That's the, the behavior you would probably expect. However, as you see here, there's an upper limit and that's something structural. There's always an upper limit on the um, amount of coins you can memorize. After, um, of course, it would be possible to input more than two coins ending up with three coins, which is now not possible in this automaton. So that's a, a, a problem. And the problem is because the amount of memory for this finite automaton is fixed and it's independent of the size of the input. So if we have a lot of input that we have, for example, a lot of coins we'd like to put in our coffee dispenser, still the memory is fixed and it has to be designed beforehand, before knowing the input, uh, how many coins it has to memorize. The only way to memorize things for finite automata is in the states. So for each new coin that is inserted, we would need an additional state to memorize it. And at some point, this state space would be exhausted because it has to be defined beforehand, before actually knowing the user input. There is actually a solution to this problem that's also user-friendly and that's we uh, return the coins immediately. So if we just change the, uh, the order of the coins and the returns, then we are fine and we get a model that uh, actually suits both the, the vendor and the customer. 